Hey fam, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me from. If you're just tuning into this channel for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Mabel. I am a mommy YouTuber living here in Dakar, Senegal. If you like my video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please. I beg you, please just subscribe to my channel, turn on your notific notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you'll be among the first to be notified. Thank you very much because I know you will. Thank you. And for my old subscribers, what can I do without you guys? Nothing. I can't do anything at all without you guys. You guys are just the best. You are the reason why I keep sitting down here making this video for you guys. You guys are just the reason. Nothing else. Honestly. Thank you very much. I appreciate your effort. I appreciate the love, the time. I appreciate everything. I appreciate for not clicking out. I just appreciate everything that you guys are doing on this channel. And I'm saying them and I'm saying may God bless you. May cause this light to shine upon you and your home. Thank you very much, guys. So today, fam, I want to share the experience I had a few days ago with you guys. Like, it was not funny. Now it looks funny, but it wasn't funny a few days back when I had this experience. Though, throughout this pregnancy, my baby has been like that. Like, from six months that I expected my baby to be very active, you know, moving very well and all that. But I'm not, I'm not noticing that, honestly. Like, you know, all this movement that baby do sometimes like this, or I don't even notice it. I, I don't even notice it. The only thing I just feel is a movement, is a movement like warm. Maybe I can just feel it today and it's going to take like two, three days before I feel another one. And I'm like, what is going on? What is happening? <laughs> is there no baby in this womb? <laughs> so fam, it looks funny to me today because... I already settled that case and I've gone for scan and I went to the hospital. My midwife checked me, checked everything and told me that my baby is fine. And they kept telling me at the hospital that the baby is very active. Like, I would be like, if this baby is active, I'm supposed to be feeling it. By myself, I'm, supposed, I'm, I'm the one carrying the child. So I'm supposed to be feeling all those active of the baby and everything. But I am not. So for a few days ago, I... I stayed for like two days, a whole two days, like a whole two days. My baby didn't move. I, I, 48 hours, my baby didn't move. Like I tried to lay my, even I tried to lay my stomach down for my baby to move. No way. I tried to, you know, hug the wall. No way. I press my baby. No way. I do a lot of things like take warm water, do things that I know that is going to like, um, that is going to make the baby move or discomfort the child from where the baby is. Nothing. I was so scared and I was having too much pain down there. I was so scared. My heart flew like it flew like I was so scared. I said to myself, I said, yes, when, when I was pregnant with my son, Chukwebka, Chukwebka did the same thing. Like Chukwebka didn't move for like, um, in fact, Chukwebka's movement is usually maybe once in three days or once in two days. You just, you just move. That's all. Before you notice another one, it take another days or so. So I've gone for a scan. In fact, because time, eh, I went for a lot of scans, more than eight scans because of that same issue. So when I find out that that is the child's way of movement, I left the baby. But this particular one, it was not funny to me because I've even forgotten that that kind of thing happened to me when I was pregnant with my son. So I said, what is going on? This baby doesn't move. This baby is not as active because... I expect my other children to be as active as my daughter because when I was pregnant with my daughter, oh my God, even sometimes when she bring up her head, I will be like, I'll call my husband, I'll say, come on, see baby, come on, see baby, baby is, baby is moving. I will be touching the baby, will say, uh, is this her head or her bum bum? What is this? We'll start imagining the parts of the baby that we are, we are touching or that the baby has brought up my stomach. So... All those kind of enjoyment and all that. I didn't experience it in my son, Chukwebuka. And I'm not also experiencing it in this pregnancy. I've called friends. I've discussed with my fellow women. Discussed with family. You know, ask them, does your children do like this when you're pregnant? Don't you feel the movement of your child, of your children? So when I didn't feel this one for two days, I went to the, it, it wasn't funny again. I went to the hospital. And when I got there, I was so scared. Because I was feeling a lot of pain down there. When my midwife asked me to lie down, you know, I was so scared. I lied down and she checked the scan. 
the, the, the particular, not the normal scan, the one that they normally use to check the heartbeat of the baby. So she puts it, she check it. I was hearing the heartbeat of the baby. Pro, 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 pro. I, she told me, she said, the baby is fine. I said, but the baby is not moving. Eh? I said, if the baby is fine, let the baby be moving. At least let me be seeing all those baby swimming movements and all that. That does not mean the baby is not making use of is or a uh, amniotic flu or what. I don't understand. <laughs> There's nothing I've not asked the woman. She was even laughing. She said, I should just remove my mind from the baby and just face the pregnancy. That I should forget that. The baby is existing. I should just remove my mind. I, I said, how can I remove my mind when I know I'm pregnant? And I know there are things that I'm supposed to be experiencing that I'm not experiencing, honestly. So I just think this is my own way of carrying pregnancy. Let me just put it like that. Because part of these three children that God is blessing me with by the special grace of Almighty, it is only one that I felt too much movement on, like that I felt normal movement of a baby. My second child and this my third one now they are just like the same thing but this one is worse because even my second baby i used to feel a lot in fact that i'm not feeling it at least sometimes the baby will just move and i'll feel that baby baby movement but this one i'll just feel the movement like you know like a worm like a worm just pass that is all once the baby move once just expect him or her to move again maybe after three days or two days. It's not even an everyday something. In fact, if the baby moves in the morning and still come to move at night, I'll start jumping. I'll be happy. I'll say, here. Yeah. So you are there. Well done, no. I hope you're okay. <laughs> so that is just it, basically. So I'm just here to share this particular experience with you guys because I don't know who is passing through it and I don't know who is bothering, who this particular thing is bothering because it really bothered me, like, it's not the way I'm sitting here saying it that it was a few days back when I went to the hospital. Like, it was really bothering me. Considering the pain I was feeling down there, considering everything, I went to the hospital and my baby was fine. Perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with my baby. It's just that my baby wants to be quiet. Maybe baby wants to be doing the baby for mommy, but there's no problem. <laughs> so if that is just the case, I'm okay with it. Let baby just sit down and be doing the baby for mommy. There's no problem. Please, I'm sorry, ignore any light you're seeing, any reflection. I'm sorry, it's ring light. I'm using ring light. You know, I have to use ring light for this video just to get that clear, clear quality for you guys, at least. So that when you're watching the video, you won't be like opening your eye or having problems stretching your eye to watch the video. That's just the reason why I'm using ring light. I'm sorry, please pardon me. And I have to sit down here for the position. So pardon me for all the reflections, okay? So that is just it, basically, fam. That is what your girl went through these few days. Like, I was like, what is happening? My baby, are you okay? I will even be discussing with the baby like the baby is here with me. I'll be asking questions. I will even discuss with my husband. My husband will tell me that you have forgotten Chukwebuka was like this when you were pregnant with Chukwebuka. But so I'm just here to tell you, fam, that it's normal with pregnancy because I've experienced it twice in my pregnancy. This is the second time I'm experiencing it. So out of three children, I'm experiencing it from two, so I just think it's normal. Yes, I just think it's normal with some people. Because I even tried to Google it, I watched some on YouTube, and I saw that some people have the same experience too that I'm facing now. It's not even only me. So that's just basically this baby. <laughs> As I'm talking to you guys now, this baby hasn't even shown me any signs since yesterday night. Till now, and it's almost afternoon. My baby hasn't shown me any signs, so... I'm just okay. I'm not worried again because I've been to the hospital severally and my gynecologist and my midwife told me not to worry about anything. I've gone for normal scan. I've gone for other tests and all that. So the baby is just fine. The baby just wants to be quiet. The baby just wants to be a good baby to mommy. He just wants mommy to know that I'm here because when the baby is playing with me too much, when he or she comes out, which time will I not have? So he or she doesn't want to spend that time here. He wants to come out and spend the time with mommy. So there's no problem. I'm okay with it. I'm fine. I'm just fine. Provided my baby is fine. So here am I sharing the same experience with you, fam. Like I said, I will be carrying you along my journey throughout this pregnancy, at least the ones that I can, because you guys know what is wrong with your girl. Like I told you that your girl itch. Even as I'm discussing with you and I'm itching my leg, I'm using my second leg to itch my leg. And it's really paining me. Let me not even pretend, honestly. Like I'm itching. So... 
that's just why you're seeing your girl like this. Please pardon me. Pardon everything you're seeing. Don't worry. When we put to bed, we'll go back to normal. <laughs> So thank you very much if you watch up to this time. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You can share the video. Share it with love. Share it in any of your sharing platform. Thank you very much. I really appreciate. I appreciate your love, your effort, everything. I appreciate everything and I keep appreciating. I can't stop appreciating. I remain your humble girl, Mabel Okafor. Keep watching my video and I will keep bringing great content along. Mm -hmm.